I decided that I didn't want to let fear dictate my life. I wasn't taking classes that I wanted to because I was afraid to fail. While I was at community college, I was actually super lucky to have gotten an internship at JPL. Hi everyone, my name is Raquel Nuno and I'm a PhD student at UCLA currently researching the moon. Now my path to science has been a very, very winding road. I've always been interested in science. Um, I've always liked space and the planets and stars, but I didn't know what it meant to be a scientist. I, my parents were not scientists. I didn't know any scientists, so I didn't know what you had to do to, to get there. Um, I knew I wanted to go to college because that's what you did. My parents never went to college and they didn't even speak English because I didn't even speak English until I moved to the United States at 11. So they couldn't help me navigate that process of figuring out what I was gonna do with my life. So, but that was the plan. I was gonna go to college and study some sort of science. When I graduated high school, my dad was actually, he was very sick and he couldn't work anymore. So I had to go and find a job so I could help my family financially. And what I did was I joined the military. So all my plans to go to college were put on hold. And then I got out of the military and I still didn't know what I was going to do with my life. I hadn't, I knew I liked science still. I was still super interested in that, but I hadn't taken a math or a science class in, in many years. So I was afraid to do that. So I started working. I, I was a bartender. I worked at a call center and I had odd other odd jobs here and there while I was figuring out what I wanted to do with my life. Eventually, I decided that I didn't want to let fear dictate my life. I wasn't taking classes that I wanted to because I was afraid to fail. And I didn't want to look back in my life and, and say I didn't do something because I was, a, I was afraid to fail. So I started going to community college and I, I started taking physics classes, chemistry classes, um, math classes. And I started out at the lowest level math that you could find. Uh, and sort of just worked my way up. But I was doing well. I was highly motivated to do well, so I studied really hard. And that gave me the confidence to, to go further, to pursue. I thought, hey, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can be a scientist. While I was at community college, I was actually super lucky to have gotten an internship at JPL. JPL is uh, it's, it's the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. It's a NASA facility. I discovered the world of planetary science. Before that, I didn't even know that that existed. So planetary scientists study planets and moons and asteroids right here in our solar system. And when we send spacecraft to other worlds, like to Mars or the moon, you know, those are planetary scientists coming up with a mission and working with the engineers to put in instruments to answer the science questions that we have. And I thought that was fascinating. I, I found my calling and I found my passion at that internship and I was so lucky to have gotten that. And then I was actually accepted to UCLA to finish my undergrad where I did uh, my undergraduate degree in geophysics and space physics. Uh, and so I continued doing research in planetary science. I was involved in a couple of NASA missions and I continued on to do my uh, a master's. So I have a master's in geology from UCLA, and now I'm working on my PhD also at UCLA, I'm studying the moon, like I said earlier. Yeah, so I study impact cratering processes. So those holes that you see at the surface of the moon, I study how those form and how those age and what that can tell us about the properties of, their, of the rocks on the moon and the history of the moon and the earth by looking at them. Yeah, so I, I think now I have my dream job and no matter what, it, it was a winding road, but I ended up exactly where I wanted to be and I'm happy and I'm glad that I didn't let my fear uh, stop me from pursuing my dreams and that's my story and thank you for listening.